deductions 81,500 and the net pay of 137,000. Anyway, hi guys, welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. A warm welcome to you if you are new to this village. If you are a returning villager, a warm welcome back to you. Um, guys, today we are looking at tech industry salaries part two. I have a part one. I am going to leave it in the description box below. If you haven't seen it before, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, share. It really helps me a lot. And hey, well, guys, I hope you're watching the ads. <laughs> If you would like to support me, uh, yeah, you can do that, guys. Let's see what... Uh, oh, guys, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to recognize this person. This is the only person who has sent me a uh, uh, thanks. It's called... What is it called? It's called Super Thanks, right? Uh, this person has sent me a Super Thanks, and I would like to recognize them. Thank you so much for being the first one. Uh, to say thank you anyway guys i really appreciate all the support that you give this channel let's look at the 10 pay slips from the tech industry yo guys it is bloody freezing today this is what you can expect cyber security data scientist industrial automotive engineer it project manager junior software engineer software developer another software developer uh, tech sales uh, consultant, time and attendance administrator, and a web developer. <sighs> Get ready for some chest pains. But guys, there is something strange with the tech industry. Please let me know if you know why. Uh, most people are not in permanent positions. Like it's always contract. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with the nature of the industry that things are always up and down in the tech industry. So this is why most people are in contra uh, on contract. But anyway, let's see. Cyber security, what he has in store for us. Hi, Hi ma'am, I love your content on TikTok. I'm in cyber and security information. I have my honors degree in IT and this is my second year of work. Hope it inspires someone. Yo, two years experience. Let's see what he has for us. Basic salary, 35,600. Restraint of trade, 1,800. Okay. So restraint of trade, I don't need to explain it, guys. But um, because you deal with security here, I don't think you can be doing other things on the side, you know. Uh, so this is why they will pay you 1,800 side eye. <laughs> of course, no benefits. Um, yeah. Okay, employer. Oh, there's employer contribution, STL, something, 375. Yeah, and that's it. Um, deduction, 7,200. And the net pay of 30,256 that uh, salary of a cyber security professional let's go to data scientist mm, uh, data scientist hi bonnie we've interacted on tiktok and i promise to give you my payslip for data scientist please please note that i have earned more in two previous roles highest being 120 per month but recently I chose a lower role uh, so I can have some time for my side hustles. Um, hope this helps someone. Mm, more qualifications of this person. Da, 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 da. He's saying his first job he was getting paid 25,000 rands. Mm, guys, I'm going to put his qualifications here when I'm editing. Um, yeah, our chat was long. You know when you want a screenshot? And then you only get two screenshots while your chat was long. Okay. Let's see. Gebudi, data scientist. Uh, cash component, 82,850. Medical aid tax credits, uh, 364. 
uh that's a deduction right and then pays you in 24,000 uh total deductions is 26,000 here yeah, and a net pay of 55,940 okay mm, yeah annual cost to company is 1 million brands uh guys i don't know mm, i don't know how you feel about this one uh he's he's like yeah yeah he's a data scientist and he's in management how does the village feel about this one i know on tiktok they said this is low <laughs> right um so nangu upoti hi i think you are doing really well to help educate everyone i don't know if this is going to be one of your interests but if anyone wants to know what you can earn as an industrial automation engineer maybe i can help okay so the gentleman here has a diploma in electronic engineering in bracket computer systems right he graduated in 2010 and then he's got a b-tech in 2014 right uh, after working a bit altogether 12 years experience including my one year of in service training right guys okay electronic engineering which is computer systems he's got uh 12 years experience right okay hey ukulele he's around my age uh basic salary 69 um reimbursement for travel 700 friends gross earnings 69,700 and then these deductions uh of 17,000 net pay of 52,600 no benefits no benefits okay let's see it project manager i hear this one is gonna have lots of benefits because they work in government they work for a municipality so they will have um don't have benefits i don't know guys how do you feel how do you feel about this contract thing working for contracts and then not having benefits um i don't know uh, but you can always put away your own pension and whatnot you know um but i don't know like how do you feel about earning higher and not having your company contributing uh to anything okay so let's see you it project manager who is working in government i work for the municipality for 11 years but i have a total of 16 years experience i have a qualification in it but i specialize in project management okay let's see okay oh girl oh deputy director that's her position within a ict project Yo, umnandila. Regular pay eighty-two thousand two hundred and twenty-eight, and then there is something here, guys. I don't know. Uh, TA something is ten thousand eight hundred. Cell phone allowance five hundred trends. Home owner allowance one thousand. Oh, that's low. But total earnings is ninety-four thousand six hundred and thirty. Hi, guys. How does the village feel about this one? Hi, umnandila. Kumnandi, kumnandi, kumnandi. Uh, total deductions forty two thousand two hundred, and net pay of fifty two thousand three hundred and seventy five. Okay, guys, the only benefits I see here, but I might be wrong. Uh, I only see, I only see medical aid, right? Um, yeah, okay, but I think there's there's benefits there. Okay, let's just leave it like that. Uh, guys sorry if you feel like i'm rushing it's because there is 10 pay slips and i need to pick up my son soon <laughs> so i need to record this video because i want to publish it on sunday and today is friday so if i don't record it today i won't have time tomorrow okay so let's go and see what ujunia software engineer earns i think this one was still in the internship let's see uh, hi Bonnie, I'm a junior software engineer at some company with one year and three months experience. I thought I could share my pay slip to inspire someone out there who wants to pursue a career in software engineering. Mm, okay, 
So they studied, uh, they've got uh, com science, a honors degree uh, com science, okay? Very junior, all right? Basic salary, 36,500. Tax paid, 6,900. And then UIF, net pay is 29,369. Ah, uh, guys, no benefits. Again. <laughs> Moving right along, there was junior software engineer. Let's look at a software developer. Hi, guys. This one better have benefits. Hi, Bonnie. I love your TikTok uh, series on Paisley. I just wanted to share mine. I'm a graduate who started working last month as a software developer. I'm in a graduate program. Oh, okay. This one is in a graduate program. Uh, let's see how much she is earning. We are not expecting a lot because she's in a graduate program. Oh, this is good, guys. Cash component, 29,000 rands. And then she pays her tax. Um, and she's got a pension while she's in a graduate program, which is they, they, uh, 1,400 rands right i don't know what is this social responsibility 25 friend um and then the social club ee e. 10 red. okay anyway uh company contributions okay shame the company is contributing to medical aid pension fire oh wow this is a good guys this is a, this is a good uh, graduate program i need to ask this person which company is this guys i don't normally see which uh, the names of companies Sometimes it happens, but not all the time. Uh, so I really don't know what is the name of this company. But the net pay here is 22186 And this person is in a graduate program. I'm happy with this. I don't know how the village feels about this one. Uh, let's move to a second um, software developer. The other one was within a graduate program. This one is a bit senior. Uh, the one that I'm just going to share with you right now. Uh, before guys, please like this video and let me know what other pay slips you would like to see um, and be sure to subscribe guys. You know, YouTube tells me 70% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. It's free guys. It's really like it's free. That's all I can say. Right. Software developer uh, contractor for a bank. Uh, they have a com, sci a com science degree and a six years experience right his contract is renewable annually hi guys that's stuff about my contract hi guys so standard fees 191,000 deductions 70,200 these deductions are tax and then the net pay of 121 100 121k Hi guys, why these people? Because if you're a contractor, um, why don't you just um, apply as an independent contract? Okay, that's just me. So that you can dodge this amount of tax. Oh my goodness, tax is 70,000 and the net pay is 121. That's a payslip of a software developer with six years experience and a computer science degree. Right. Tech saves. Mm. Kobe, Kobe, get ready for chest pains. Get ready. <laughs> Even the previous one so was showing us uh, flames. Eh? Hi, Bonnie. I've been following your payslip series and I finally saw a sales consultant. I'm a software sales. I mean, oh, I mean, as I'm in the software sales space and our payslips aren't bad. Of course, they are not bad. Uh, this is on average uh, what a good month looks like. Okay? So don't come to my comment section and say, oh, but this is commission. Yes, guys, this is commission. That's how much they earn for that month. So what? We shouldn't share it. Then, guys, I just don't get people who get mad when I share a payslip of someone who got a commission of 100,000. So what? And then they will say, oh, yeah, but other months, yes. Anyway, so especially if it's insurance people, most people have this tendency of undermining people who work within the insurance uh, industry. But uh, this one that I'm going to share now, they're not going to have a problem with it because it's in the tech industry. 
but the guy is stating here that this is an average on a good month it's not always like this but they're not gonna have a problem because it's in the tech industry but now if i can post someone who works uh, at afpo oh my god oh my god the negativity that we are going to get as a village yeah but not on youtube guys yeah sometimes on youtube but anyway let's see basic salary fifty two thousand nine hundred and twenty. i am happy with this basic salary guys right extra pay ten thousand commission one hundred and forty eight thousand allowances seven seven thousand two hundred and forty deductions eighty one thousand five hundred and the net pay of one hundred and thirty seven thousand for this month anyway the gross income was two hundred thousand uh how does the village feel about this one <laughs> two more pay slips <laughs> let's look at the time and attendance administrator mm, this guy he says this job uh needs a metric and a sql qualification i am going to leave the details in the description box below uh, to see where you can do this course but yeah now he is very like educated but he says that he didn't need all this education he's got computer science and stats degree he's got bcom honors he's got mpa and right now he's currently doing his third honors third honors in it management uh, in the mining industry he's got three years experience okay um let's see right uh total package seventy five thousand six hundred um and then there's pensionable salary thirty seven thousand total flex points thirty seven thousand so total earnings is one hundred and one thousand and then total deductions is thirty nine thousand six hundred a net pay of sixty two thousand three hundred this guy works in the mining industry so company contributions are good like 8700 from the company they've got their retirement funeral group life and medical aid cover um guys i'm gonna leave some details about this job okay because he did explain some more uh, about this job uh, so what they do they just check you know that's how they track if there are people who are stuck underground and whatnot but he just says you need to be good with your excel and just do your sql a uh, qualification from udemy and he mentioned other places as well but i will leave all the information in the description box okay last place leave this is a web developer uh, he's in the intermediate uh, level again <laughs> there's no benefits a uh, monthly rate uh, 44,000 because they are in a contract um yeah that's it and then uif pays you in nine thousand and the net pay of thirty four thousand three hundred and sixty five that's it for today uh salaries in the tech industry guys i still have more salaries in the mining industry i need to get some more I have uh, mid rights and other like I've been receiving a lot of pay slips in the mining industry, and then I'm gonna be doing interviews. You're gonna be seeing interviews in August. People, um, I, I will, guys. Just tell me, do you prefer me to post a pay slip of a mid right or an interview with the mid right? I think an interview has more value than a pay slip, like cause I can't do both. You know, <laughs> I can't do both. But just let me know. Um what you think like what what like what do you have in mind what do you want the village to have the interview of a mill right or a pay slip of a mill right otherwise guys please like this video and i will see you on the next one bye bye